Welcome back to Every Day. Well, New Zealand is full of different cultures, different beliefs, different races, and making sure that their community is making a mark is the Latin community. And joining us now to tell us all about it is Contella hosts Mauricio Castro and Luis Azure. Welcome to the show, guys. Thank you. It's Thank really you. Really good very to much. have you. Now, your show is called Candela. Yes. Can you tell us all about the show? Uh, about the show uh, mm. or the origin of the of the word? Both would be great. Okay, the word uh, actually means uh, candle. Mm -hmm. That's the origin of the word. But now it has become a, a slang within uh, uh, South America and Central America, and it means heat, flavor, good vibes. Very cool. Yeah, mm. and uh, the show is every Friday uh, on the community radio here in Hamilton uh, from nine to ten thirty, and uh, we showcase the latest hits from South America, and it's a really upbeat and and a happy show, if you want it that way. Well, that's great. I can just imagine you guys have a lot of fun. Yeah, high energy. <laughs> yeah, we do. We actually uh, get a lot of people to come and uh, watch the show. Kiwis who are learning mm -hmm. Spanish or they are taking uh, oh, okay. salsa lessons. Yes. So we invite them to come over and to watch the show and be part of the show if they feel like. Right. Most of them just watch. So it's really laid back and quite spontaneous. Yep. Yeah. Yep. How, how many of uh, how big is the Latin community in New Zealand, Mauricio? Eh, bueno, aproximadamente nos están escuchando 300 familias. Eh, alrededor del mundo, otras eh, 100 más o menos. If you didn't understand that, that was in Spanish, so now yeah, you can yeah, translate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the characteristics of the show. We do it in Spanglish, which is the... So what know, did Mauricio say? He just said that <laughs> <laughs> the Latin community in New Zealand is kind of small. Well, mm. There are 6,000 people living in New Zealand. Uh, we have like 200, 300 families in Hamilton, most of them working in the farms. Mm. Uh, but it's very noisy. Uh, that's why, you know, even though we are not big in numbers, uh, we are almost everywhere, and the Kiwis also really enjoyed of our culture. Mm. That's one. That's been one of the most surprising features. It's beautiful culture. Because yeah. uh, mm. you know there are an, a big number of Kiwis learning Spanish or doing salsa or yes. tango. Yes. Uh, uh, and the food too. We're we're really into the food, aren't we yeah. as well? So and that's right. That especially is, Mexican food yes. is quite popular. Yeah. 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 Now, what are the concerns and the difficulties for uh, for the Latin community in New Zealand, Mauricio? La diferencia? Las dificultades. Las dificultades, pienso que un poco el idioma y la dificultad de poder eh, escuchar nuestras noticias de Latinoamérica. Pienso. And you're going to tell us what he said. Yes, uh, <laughs> uh, he's saying that it's, the language is hard because, uh, you know, we speak Spanish. Speak Spanish. And then, uh, you know, get in touch with our culture. Um, mm. And, well, that's one of the main reasons why we are doing the show because we want to keep in touch with our culture. Mm. Even though, you know, South America and the Latin culture is huge, you know, mm. you have 500 million people speaking Spanish, it's pretty hard to find on the radio stations here in New Zealand, our music. So you're getting much response to the to your, to your show, Mauricio? Yeah, it's, it's muy interesante, ¿sabes? Que empezamos con un programa, eh, con una idea, y hoy en día es una idea que está creciendo, no solo en la comunidad latina en Hamilton, sino en la comunidad kiwi también, de todo el país, de muchos otros países, que es lo que nos, nos tiene muy contentos. Yeah, he's <laughs> saying that, uh, <laughs> basically, we, we're doing a little bit of Spanish because we know that this is going to be on the internet. Yes. And uh, part of the response that we get is, uh, comes from uh, all over the internet. We get emails from uh, 25 different countries of South Americans living uh, in different uh, countries around the world. And uh, now the response has, uh, has increased after we got the awards, the New Zealand Radio Awards, uh, we get more Kiwis. Uh, we actually were surprised because we were thinking of doing the show for the Latin American community, community at first, which is small, mm -hmm. but it, the, pro the show kind of has been taken by the Kiwis in, interested in this. In the, Isn't in our that culture. awesome? Well, you also, you guys, the the Candela Show won the uh, 2008 Best Non-English Radio Show yes. for New Zealand. That exactly. must have felt awesome, Maurice. How did, how, Mauricio, how did you feel about that? El feeling is de mucha alegría, pero de un compromiso muy grande con las personas que nos escuchan, que nos apoyan y nos soportan. Por ejemplo, un gran, una gran persona que nos ha ayudado en este día, Sir Phil, Phil Gray, que es nuestro manager en la, en la emisora. Well, it was an awesome feeling because, you know, the New Zealand Radio Awards is a very... Uh, serious or yeah. you know really well organized ceremony we weren't expecting that level of organization yeah. and then you know to be to become the best basically ethnic show in the country that's awesome it's uh, mm. we knew we had a chance uh, because the Latin culture is very interesting 
and people are in interested in that, but you know, actually winning, uh, mm. you know, it was an awesome feeling. It's really important to have New, uh, have New Zealand full of different cultures, really, isn't it? It, it kind of um, makes us better people, I think, if we're able to rub shoulders with lots of culture. Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that correct? You'd agree with that? Well, yeah. Uh, you know, in South America, we grew up within South America. Mm. So for us to experience different cultures, we had to f come over here to New Zealand. Mm. And, uh, you know, you get to experience different foods, mm. uh, different ideas. You get so much from them and it makes your life uh, richer, at least, you know. Absolutely. We had to learn a, different, a second language. Mm. And if uh, you speak one language, once you get into the world of the second language, it's not just speaking the second language, mm. you get into what is behind, mm. you know, the way of thinking, Absolutely. The, you know, the things that they're interested in, what they enjoy, what they hate, it's such experience, it changes your life. Wonderful. It changes your life. Well, we have a Pippin's Recognition Award on the show, and oh, this week we'd like to give it to you guys because we love what you do. Oh, thank you You won an much. awesome award. And um, it's Thank really neat much. that you're reaching out to the Latin community and I'm sh we just want to show you an appreciation for what you do. It, it, just congratulations Muchas and, gracias. Thank you very and much. well Muchas done. Gracias. Y no olviden que el español está de moda. <laughs> Better quickly tell uh, me. Spanish is uh, on fashion these days. <laughs> oh, okay. It's in fashion. Thanks so much for coming on the show. It's really Thank great you very to much. have you. Yep. Okay, well, you do need to check in and uh, listen to the show, of course. It's on Fridays at 9pm on 12.06am in the Waikato and 106.7 FM in Hamilton City. And you can also uh, check out their website which is communityradio.co.nz.